everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, like usual, having my coffee. It won't be long before I'm going to be able to sit outside on my porch and do the hey everybody in here thing out there. Yeah, I did brush my hair, but oh, my hair is just a mess. I made a mistake cutting those bangs, didn't I? Didn't I? I should never cut my own bangs. Anyhow, yeah, I got to go into town today. Something is waiting for me at the post office box, so I'm going to check that out. And yeah, I'm going to take the puppies with me, check the chickens, all that. Who knows what else I'll get into. And you know what I'm noticing, you guys? I'm getting age spots. Look, look, they're all over my face. I mean, I know I spent a lot of time out in the sun, and I think that's probably part of it, but oh my gosh, you can really see them a lot in the wintertime because I don't have like a tan and whatnot. So it just looks like an old look. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to get used to it. You know, I'm not going to be one of those, you know, older women who slathers their face in paint. Um, I know that there's some older women who do a really good job of putting on their makeup. I'm not one of those women. I mean, maybe when I was younger and my skin was better, I could put on makeup and make my face be totally transformed, but not anymore. I'm noticing the changes on my skin. I just can't, I can't wear makeup like I used to because it just, oh, I don't know, it doesn't react to my skin right. Anyhow. Enough about me. Let's just get going. There's my egg haul for today. It's only 11 a.m., so I may get one more, but I tell you what, four eggs a day, that's pretty gosh darn good. All right, guys, time to go to town. Let's see if Papa gets in all by himself. I bet you he does. He kind of seems to like going in the truck these days. All right, girls. Whoops. Oh, he made it in first. Ow! <laughs> Such excitement. The real test now is whether or not this truck starts on the first try. Let's see. Place your bets, people. <sighs> it started. Yeah. I'm at the post office and look, I got my new mask on. Look at that. Isn't that great? These little things here, these are pantyhose. These are pantyhose. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go in and get whatever is waiting for me at my post office box. The eagle has landed. Yay. What do you think, Papa? You having a good time? What about you, Judy? What about you? <laughs> I got all my errands done, went to Tractor Supply, got some chicken bedding, which I also used in my compost bin. I went to the post office, and you know what? As I'm looking at myself right now, I totally look like the female version of the Unimama, don't I? Check this out, you guys. I just came home and was putting some bedding in the van coop, and... I found another egg in the nesting box. They love the file cabinet. They just love it. Look at that. Isn't that a nice egg? So what is that? Five? Five eggs today? Yes. Hey guys, look who's here. Cody went to visit me. Uh, Hannah's at, uh, at her parents' house. Well, here's Cody to the rescue. He's going to put my chainsaw chain back on. Hopefully. I don't know how to do it. Do you know how to do it, Cody? Yes. <laughs> All right. I should be watching this. Explain what you oh you just take it off. Just took it off. See, I knew I had to get that bolt off or that nut or that whatever it is you call it. Yes. And then you just put it back like on that. And there's a way to tighten tighten that up too. I'm not really sure. I think you close it and then there's a little place you put the the screwdriver in. That was easy. I overthink things. Oh, you did it. Looks like it. Do you want do you need a second pair of hands? No. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, Cody to the rescue. If it was a big chainsaw, it would. Yeah. I can still put a blade on mine. So all I gotta do is take that cover off. Lift it out, put it back on, and then tighten it. Cody back, got it back on, and I can't do this with one hand, but you can barely slip a dime up in between there. So that is the right. So let's go, cha let's go ch chainsaw something down. All right, Cody, which tree should we do? Let's do. Whatever you want. Remember that over there? Let's go do those. Here we go, Cody. Good luck. Timber! 
Oh my gosh, it went right through it. Look at that. Oh, we don't have our safety gear on. Did it come off again? No, it's loose a little bit. Okay, well we can loosen it. We don't have to cut all that down, no. but it's pretty clear that this is gonna cut down. It's gonna be able to cut that down too. So um, we need to tighten that back up again. Yep, and uh, we'll just finish this later. Okay, we think we found the place. Here, hold that, hold that so I can just look at it. Point to where it, you were doing it. Right there. Okay. Did that tighten it up? A little we'll bit. See in a I'm gonna have to tighten the blade up a little bit more. Okay. You think you got it? Yeah. Let's see. Here, hold it this way. Come hold on. it up so I can see it. Okay, it's too tight. Too tight. All right. See, so pull that down. That's it. Just a tiny little space underneath there. All right. Let's give this another try. I'll hold this. Whoops. We should be wearing protective gear. Oh yeah! Would you look at that? Look at that big piece. Right on. Oh, we gotta get protective gear. All right, that's enough. Yep. Until you do protective gear stuff. All right, and look, the chain is still on. Okay, so explain to me again what I need to do. If it ever comes off again, unscrew that. Uh huh. Take this cover off. Uh huh. Pull this, put the chain back on the gill, and this. Okay. And then after you do that, tighten that screw up right there, the Phillips head screw, tighten that up. Okay. Until it's, it's easy to go around. It's easy to go around, and it's tight. Oh, you are a genius, Cody. Thank you so much. You know what time it is? I'm going to open the package first, and then the two envelopes. This is what it is. I don't know what's in it, but I'm going to find out right now. I was given instructions to not open this up until I did a video, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. All right, it's kind of a mystery. Usually it's a mystery. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh. I can't believe this. A tableware set. You guys, I almost bought some of these just the other day. And I thought, you know what? It's okay. I have enough. I, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to save my money. And I'm glad I did because this has forks, knives, and spoons. Oh, my gosh. It's kiln hardened enamel. Lightweight and compact. Okay, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take them out and I'm going to show you the different pieces because they are beautiful and they're green. They're my favorite color. Oh my gosh. Okay, first I'm just going to take out one fork and forks are the things that I need the most of. I don't know what happened. It's like all of a sudden my forks disappeared. Um, so these are great. They're nice and long and they've got these beautiful green handles on them. Stainless steel. That is gorgeous. Okay, um, oh, it's got these cups, you guys, oh, these are so cool, <gasps> look at these cups, oh my gosh, you know what, I'm going to have to find a way to display these, look at that, can you see it's got the little speckles on it, very, very beautiful, okay, um, the bowls, same thing, oh my gosh. I needed bowls so bad. I did. Because you know what? I'm still living with what I had in the van, basically. I've got a, I've bought a couple pieces here and there, but um, like, uh, well, first Betty would chew one up, and then Judy would chew one up, and then, I don't know, maybe I'd set a couple on fire accidentally. But these, you can't set on fire. Look, they're, they're lined with stainless steel. They've got the speckled enamel, they're lightweight, and they're just so pretty. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, now the last but not least is the plates. And look at this. They are nice and deep plates. They're going to be so easy to clean. Oh man, I have got to find a way to display these. Oh, I think I have 
I think I have a plate holder inside. Yes, I do. Or I could put it on the wicker thingy. I'm not sure, but these, these are absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness. I was looking for a note, but I don't need a note because I know who it's from. It's from Marietta, Marietta Y. <laughs> Marietta, thank you so much. This is just so cool. So cool. It is my favorite, favorite color. It's going to look beautiful inside the tiny house. And what's more is I really, really needed it really bad. Oh, you've got to, you've got to see this. Look at that. Papa's just being the shepherd of the chickens. He's just right up there watching them, keeping an eye on them. He doesn't try and go after them. Look. Yeah, he's a good dog. My goodness, he's a good dog. And those are good chickens. Anyway, thank you so much, Marietta. I love them. I, I don't have to eat like a heathen off of paper plates all the time anymore. <laughs> Oh, I just love them. Okay, I have two letters, and I just have to tell you, I've already opened them. Okay, the first one is from Margaret H. Margaret, and she sent me a little something inside. Miss Anne, you have a heart of gold. God bless you and all you do. Here is a little something for the puppies. Maybe you can get them a big water dish or whatever you want. God bless Maggie, Maggie May. Thank you so much. And that little gift definitely is gonna come to good use. Thank you so much. Very, very thoughtful. Um, and it does still help out with Papa's care because it's, oh, that's a good boy. He's just ushering him up the hill. Now, Papa, don't go up the hill. <laughs> okay, the next one. Uh, I have not opened this up yet. It says to Anne and Papa. It's got a little heart on the back. And, oh, goodness gracious, I think I know who this is from. It says, heal soon, little boy. Uh, Papa, may God bless your sweet little heart. She drew another picture of Papa for me. Another one I can put in a frame. And, yep. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is from Jane. Hold on, let me go to the last page. Yes, it is from Jane. Okay, I just have to let you, I'm not gonna read you the whole letter because I'm gonna read that myself, just off camera. Um, and it's three pages long. But look at this handwriting. Can you see this handwriting? This is like, it's like a machine did it. Jane, you have the most beautiful handwriting. And so I'm gonna read this, and I know it's gonna make me cry, so I'm not gonna do it on camera. Um, thank you so much, and I kinda wanna read it right now. Okay, I, I'm gonna wait, because I know it's gonna make me cry. Um, that's beautiful, this card is beautiful. And look, I just wanted to show you again. That is so sweet. Jane, you are just such a doll. Anyway, you guys, um, I kind of think that's enough for this video. You know, it was a cool day. I got to go into town. And it's usually, oh, I don't want to go into town. But I got to go into town. I had a different attitude today because it's sunny. It's cold. Um, Cody, I got a visit from Cody. He showed me how to fix my chainsaw. I know it's going to be able to saw down logs that are at least this big. Okay. That may be the max. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll be able to saw it down so much. And now if the chain comes off, I know how to fix it. It's very, very easy. Still don't know if you need to put oil in it anywhere. I don't know. Um, anyhow, I, I just keep plabbing. So I'm just going to cut this off now. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.